Hello, we're looking at the uh, 1967 uh, Volkswagen Beetle and uh, I'd like to sell it. So I'm going to do a little video tour here. Um, <clears throat> my voice is kind of crapping out on me today, so I hope that you can hear me well enough. Uh, <clears throat> I bought the car from a lady who was moving to California and uh, uh, it was just mainly just to, to pay for her U-Haul, but uh, I got a lot of money in this thing, <laughs> so I'm probably going to take it in a crapper, but you know what, I just, I'm just too damn big for it. I bought it initially for my kids, to fix up for my kids, but uh, I realized that they will kill themselves in this car, so I bought them that Volvo sitting back there, so... <laughs> They'll probably be a little safer in that car, but I don't know. Otherwise, this is a beautiful 67 Beetle that I need to get rid of. Uh, it's got good tires. <clears throat> I just put new running boards on. I got new body seals. Uh, all these things. These are all new. Uh, new seals around the uh, deck lid. There's the engine. It's a uh, 1600 dual port motor. Runs fantastic. It's got a fresh rebuild. This is a one of them high dollar O34 distributors from aircool.net. That's two hundred dollars right there. Uh, it's got the Solex 3453. Uh, I bought a remanufactured one, and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, it's, the engine's been rebuilt. Uh, no major oil leaks. A little drip here and there. But it's kind of to be expected. <coughs> Excuse me. My, see the chrome work is in really nice shape. Uh, tires brand new in the back and the front. They're in very good condition but they're not brand new. Let's take a look inside here. As you can see the interior is in very good shape. There's no tears. Could use a little armor all but other than that they're really nice. I've got the original seat belts. These are the Wolfburg West seat belts because we added them in the back for the kids once in a while they would ride with us. It's got a brand new battery. Headliner is not the prettiest thing in the whole wide world. Uh, there's you know, it's peeling back over here in the back there in those two spots and you know a little bit right here. Not not the greatest thing in the world. Door panels are nice. I have the speaker cover. It's in the trunk. Um, 86,145 on the uh, odometer. Uh, old AM radio. Different ashtray. Couldn't I couldn't find an original ashtray. So there's a different ashtray. Oh, there's some black marks here along the door here. I'm not, I'm not sure how, how they got there, so I don't know. I didn't do it. Open the trunk. Oh yeah, this beauty ring around this light popped off on me one day and it rolled down the street you can see where it hit the ground right there so probably going to need a new one of those um, there's that speaker grate oh <clears throat> and I think this fender had been changed at one time because they put a, a newer model it should have this horn grill the thing is is when I look back behind there you could see that they've got a fiberglass patch on it about right here so, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine as to why they did that. I don't know for sure. There's a brand new seal on this. Goes around that. That was that was kind of tricky to change that one. But <coughs> a new antenna. A lot of new stuff on this thing, actually. Here's a view from the passenger side. Pop 
pop out windows. There's an oil filter. <clears throat> One other thing you'll notice is whoever had this, they welded a bar onto here for some reason. I don't know if it was just for stability or, or what. But, uh, you know, it's never been a problem. But, yeah, all the, all the heater channels and everything are all rust free. There's no holes or anything weird in there. Yep. It's a beautiful little car. I'd like it to go to somebody who really wants to work on it and fix it up. So talk to you later.